and troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to get the best performance out of Arena Breakout Infinite on PC. Let's go ahead and get into it. From the main menu, head across to Settings in the bottom right. Then in here, under the Game tab, you should see Head Shake, which I definitely recommend putting on low for the best visibility in game. Then on the Graphics tab, your aspect ratio should match your monitor and of course your screen resolution as well. For me, this was one below where it should be making everything completely blurry. This is one of the options you need to make sure is correct. Make sure this matches your monitor. If it's not, then congratulations, enjoy the extra visibility. Then, looking down, VSync should definitely be turned off, unless you're getting screen tearing with the top and the bottom half don't seem to match up, and your resampling type shouldn't be set to DLSS in most cases, otherwise you can get some stuttering on certain NVIDIA cards, but for the most part this is your preference. Choose either FSR or TSR. These are all different upscalers, and usually you get the control of setting it to quality, performance, balanced, etc. Actually, here, if you scroll down, you'll see that it's in a separate section called Resolution under Detailed Settings. This you can move from medium to high, and this will adjust your resolution for the resampling type. FSR should be the best for FPS and performance pretty much across the board. DLSS is NVIDIA specific and can introduce stuttering on certain setups. Then scrolling down, screen mode should be windowed full screen or full screen for better performance on some computers. Then overall quality. I'd recommend setting this to medium and working our way up or down from here as this is the lowest option we can choose. This game does seem to have a lock on what PCs can actually play it. There is a workaround. If you do something in your registry, you should get access on pretty much any graphics card. But just keep in mind that if you do that, performance may not be the best as you don't meet the minimum requirements really. Anyways, this guide should work across the board no matter what kind of system you have. Then max FPS. This one is a little bit weird. If you happen to be streaming or recording and you have your FPS uncapped, this game is going to happily eat your entire system, leaving nothing for OBS or streams or anything like that. So this one really comes down to your use case. If you're not doing anything, and I mean anything, then you can crank this all the way up to the max and leave it on, let's see, 240. However, if you're going to be streaming or want to tab out to watch YouTube and things like that, it may not be possible if you have this higher up, as this game will happily eat your entire system, leaving nothing for OBS, your browser, or anything like that. That's why I have this capped to 60, but depending on your system, you can lower this slightly below your in-game FPS and restore some performance to the rest of your system. If you're going to be benchmarking, obviously have this as high as possible. 60, 70 is good for me, especially while I'm streaming with a face cam, etc. Then scrolling down to detailed settings. I'd pretty much recommend everything on medium here, which is the absolute lowest at this current point in time, except for two specific options. That being the resolution option. So this would set our DLSS or FSR to the quality option or high quality option, meaning more clear visibility in game. And on top of this, the other option I'd recommend raising is all the way at the bottom, resolution sampling quality. This one should also be on high. So essentially we've dropped everything as low as possible, except for resolution and resolution sampling quality. With that, we've pretty much optimized our graphics setting page here. If however, you have a beefy PC and you're happily running 120 or above FPS, you can go ahead and raise your view distance, anti-aliasing and texture quality to get a better looking gameplay experience. If you're running everything on high, try dropping the rest of these options, as I have here, for a free performance boost with practically no visual loss. In fact, it may even make the game look a little bit clearer, especially if you have a couple of options off. Anyways, saving this and moving across to the sound tab, spatial audio should definitely be on for better audio positioning in game, background music off completely, and if you're annoyed by menu sounds, you can lower the UI volume as well. Then saving here and moving across to post processing, these shouldn't really have an effect on performance, but if you'd like the game to be a bit brighter and make it easier to see into darker areas, try raising your contrast ever so slightly to maybe 1.10 or just above. Saturation, you can raise this if you want more color. Brightness is obviously brightness. And finally, sharpness. Most of the time, you won't need to mess around with this unless you have your FSR, DLSS, or TSR set to medium over here for sampling quality and resolution, in which case you may need a little bit of sharpening. And most of the time, you don't really need to go above one, which is relatively low down here. You can crank this all the way up, but that's a bit overkill. Anyways, one is probably the highest that I would go here. The only other thing besides that is maybe field view on the first tab, but this is entirely your preference and it shouldn't have any weight on what kind of options you choose. As you can technically gain FPS by changing this, it's all about how you feel on your specific setup. With that, we've pretty much covered everything you need to know about boosting your performance in the game. Obviously, I have my 
mind capped as I do in streams as well, otherwise OBS lags far too much, and of course the rest of my system. But of course, your experience may be different, it might just be a specific thing with my 3080 Ti and Intel CPU. Hopefully you found this video useful, if you'd like even better performance, check the description down below for a Windows 10, 11, and anything else optimization guide to get even more performance out of your system. And that's it, hopefully this guide got you a ton of extra performance. Thank you all for watching, and a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.